Hello, hello, hello. This is Prophetess Tay Janice. I'm here with another prophetic word from the Lord thy God. Before anything, you must seek the Lord by using your discernment spirit. You must also discern the voice of God by testing. You may discern what the will of God is for you to be sure this prophecy is indeed for you. Holy Spirit, we thank you right now for having your way in our lives. Father God, we acknowledge that we need you, we trust you, we adore you. Father God, we ask and pray that you blow like the wind and fall fresh like the rain. I ask that it be none of me and all of you. Take your rightful place right now, Father Jesus. Meet every single household household need of faith and we silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. So the title of this message is, They are removing them one by one. Yes, they are removing them one by one. And this message may not be for everyone. You want to make sure you take this word, take this message back to the Lord in prayer. This may be confirmation for a few of you, but just please know, not every prophetic word is for you. So you want to make sure that you take this word this message back to the lord in prayer but if this word if this message is for you then your kingdom spouse is moving toxic people out of their life one by one whether it's a family member whether it's so-called friends whether it's exes in their past whatever the threat may be whatever the person or situation may be this person is moving them away from this connection this bond they are standing up for you. They're standing up for this love that you guys have between the both of you. Oh, this, <laughs> I'm, I'm loving this. This person is literally making sure that they are putting you first in this situation. They don't want no drama. They don't want no arguments. They don't want things coming in between this connection this relationship or for many of you you may be about to get into a relationship with this person but either way they are trying to set the record straight ahead of time or for the first time either way it go they are removing things that serve no purpose removing people that keep up with drama and keep things coming and attacks coming left to right they are removing them one by one who is this message for today and for many of you, they had to remove those people because it was creating problems in a relationship. It was causing confusion. It was causing, you know, drama and conflict and things to happen. And they just didn't want to deal with that mess. They didn't want that coming in between the relationship. And, you know, it was a distraction. The enemy tried to come in like a thief in the night and steal, kill and destroy you guys is bond you guys is relationship and this person had to move the day that they heard the lord's voice they could not harden their heart they know just how dangerous it is to hear the voice of the lord and harden their heart so this person you know knew that this wasn't healthy right this this thing that was happening this confusion and confusion is not of god right so this person had to go ahead and take their place and get and set the record straight so they ask god you know hey deliver me from making poor choices and bad decisions when it comes from this when it comes to this relationship when it comes to this marriage i don't want to make any poor choices or bad decisions i don't want to allow fear to have the biggest appetite at my table so the lord start allowing them to see people more clearly to see people just for who they truly are and they had to start removing that negative spirit that negative energy they start removing that and when they started to remove that you started to see a change in that which for many of you it was shocking because you know not many people have respect not many people value the relationship and they see you as someone of value they knew that from the moment that they laid eyes on you all and this person, the Lord has been, you know, speaking to their heart and allowed them to move in good faith and wisdom and in knowledge. You know, they've asked God, you know, hey, give me the wisdom, the strength and the knowledge that I need. Show me how you want me to love them. Show me how you want me to do this. I don't want to do things the way I want to do it. I don't want to build the way that I used to build and miss the wisdom and the knowledge and the way you're showing me of how I need to build now. So this person is removing everything that's negative, that's, that's trying to um, impact the relationship in a negative way. They are moving it out one by one and they are being transparent with you they want to be real with you 
and allow you in like you need to be allow you because a lot of times in this relationship with this marriage that you guys um, have been in you know you were not allowed into certain situations and you felt on the alone side and you kind of felt like okay well when are they going to say this and this that and the third about this situation or am i going to continue to be ignored no the lord has allowed this light to shine in this person to allow them to know how they need to go about approaching this they've always valued you and have respect they just know that it's a way to go about handling certain situations right so when the situation is brought to you it's the way that you respond or react to the situation that shows just how fruitful or how kind of a person that's you know your care it affects your character when you start saying things the way that you want to do it and doing things the way you want to do it no it's a process it's a step to that you got to do unto others as you had them to do unto you no matter if they are right or wrong in this situation this person still believed that they still had to you know remove that negativity to the left but do it the way that god was asking them to do it to where it doesn't affect their relationship with these people because again some of these people are family friends could be possibly even long-term childhood friends so they still have respect for them so but i want to give you the scripture that the lord has given to me to give to you this scripture is going to be coming from the book of proverbs chapter 14 beginning at the first verse i'm in the easy version it says every wise woman makes her home strong but a foolish woman destroys her home with her own hands and I want to go to verse 2 as well. It says, An honest person respects and obeys the Lord. But anyone who deceives other people shows that he does not respect the Lord. So your kingdom spouse did not want to deceive anybody. They were not trying to get over on anybody. They value and they respected the Lord's will. And, you know, this person does not want to, again, build the way they used to build and miss what God is instructing them to do. So an honest person respects the Lord. Your kingdom of spouse has respect for you. They have respect for the Lord. No matter how they were in the past, old things have passed away. God is doing a new thing in them. So they want to handle things differently. And they don't want to destroy their home with their words, with their thoughts, with their own ideas, with their own grand gestures of how they think things should go and be. No, they want to build the way God is instructing them to build, love you the way that God is instructing them to do so. So God has allowed them to see clearly. They, they're they asking the same thing the two blind men ask. God, help me see what I can't see, right? They were wanting to be free from all of this toxicity that was going on and God had to, you know, remove the the, the, uh, the the scales, the veils off of their eyes, right? So that they can be able to see things clearly, see people clearly. Because people can really play, you know, this game of actually being like they're there for you. They love and care for you. They got the best interest and they don't. Um, they don't always have the best interest at heart. So they had to go back to God and God revealed to them. Jeremiah 33 and 3, um, when you make a call to the Lord, he will show you great and mighty things that you don't even know yet. He's going to uncover some things about people that you never even knew. He'll show you some stuff and you'd be like, whoa, wait a minute. God, I had no idea. So they repented and they asked God, they asked God for forgiveness you know, and they've gone to God on your behalf because they know that that's the way that they can get through to you is by going to God. So they took peace with them. Shalom in the Lord. They took that peace with them and allowed God to do this work. But this person loves you and they are removing anything negative one by one. And for many of you, you guys may be coming back together. Maybe you guys have split up. This this situation has maybe caused you guys to be not at ease with each other. But God is bringing this union back together. Expect the call. Many of you are going on a date. Expect the date. It's been a long time coming. And this person really wants to get with you and discuss the changes and the things that they have made. They want to do better. They know you deserve better, so they want to give you better. They've always loved you. You know, sometimes we just make, you know, poor choices and bad decisions, but it takes God to step in. Once you put it in his hands, once you pray, just like they pray, you've been praying for this marriage, this relationship, this reconciliation. 
once that prayer comes in, all it takes is you having faith as small as a mustard seed. The rest God will handle for you. If God be for you, who can be against you? Amen. Let's go to the throne of grace. Spirit of the living God, we come to you as humble as we know how. Thanking you for this message. We silence the voice of every Goliath that's speaking negative. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Shalom in the Lord. Meeting peace in the Lord. If you are new here, welcome. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As the Lord downloads to me, I'm going to upload to you what he gives to me to give to you. I hope everyone is doing great. I love you guys so much with the love of Christ. Thank you for your super thanks. Um, your prayers, um, your support, your love, your consistency on wanting better. And just know that we are not stopping until we make hell nervous. Tell that devil one thing or one thing or three. Hey, if you're going to be rapping, I'm going to be singing. We'll be doing a duet, but you're not going to back me into a corner. I fight back too. I talk back too. I pray to the Lord. I go to him and I seek him and I know he heard my cry. God has heard your cry and this is your year of answered prayers. You're going to get all that God has for you by any means necessary. This word, this message is for you. Um, so into this word, so into this message as the Lord lays on your heart to do so. Again, Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, super thanks. Cash App, I get directly. If you want to sow it that way, that's fine. Um, so into the word, so into what you want God to do into your life. And he's going to multiply it just like he did the widow woman, just like he put, she put the seed into the prophet's hand, put what she had into the prophet's hand and God multiplied. He's going to do it every single time. And I'll be happy to believe God with you just as long as he can get the glory. I do pray over every seed. You guys are my sister and brother in Christ. I don't play about you guys. Amen. I love you guys. I want you to get everything. I stay in prayer for you and I stay going to God about you, right? God pays child support on our behalf. He takes care of us. He's going to take care of me and you. Amen. 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 Well, I love you with the love of Christ. And you know what? There's nothing you can do about it. I'll see you in the next video.